know what? Let's get in. Okay, so you know what? Let's start from the top of it. Let's get into situations regarding dating and love and then immediate red flags that women should not ignore. So I want to throw a couple of things at you all and and get your feedback. Okay, so current dating trends that make it difficult to settle down, okay, according to women. Okay, so texting is the new way to talk. Reading a text has become more desired than listening to a real voice. Now, after work, instead of picking up the phone to ask about someone's day, people prefer to have a 30-minute text conversation. So my question to you, why do guys prefer to text instead of picking up the phone, especially after work? Oh, that's easy. That's it, because I don't want to put my full attention into the conversation. I want to be able to text you and do other stuff. Right. And, and, and it's such more, it's, such, it's an easier route to con- con- converse where you just, you know, I can be watching TV and still talking mm-hmm. to you. It, but if we pick up the phone and talk, I my concentration it. has to be on our conversation. Yep. And, and if I divert from our conversation and I watch TV, it's going to take away from the substance of our conversation. It's just it's, it's accessibility. It's just, just what society just is now is a whole bunch of accessibility. <laughs> um, so if, with that being said, um, you really can't have the conversations you need to be having. If you're searching to be in a relationship, mm-hmm. you can't have the conversations that need to be had mm-hmm. by going through text. Yeah. Um, yeah I would sure. say that because... I agree. Huh? I agree. Because I'm not a, if, for, I'm not a texter. If, we know. Well, you are a texter <laughs> when you want to argue. But anyway, go ahead. No, well, no he calls, I digress. I, Char calls. He does talk. Yeah, I, mean, no. I was just being, yeah, I was being uh, petty. Yeah, because me and Char, we talk almost every day. I know. Yeah. I don't get calls so, from Daryl anymore. I did we'll, call we'll you. You never called me back. We, yes. I thought we'd be wrong okay. with that. Okay, okay. now. All right. Apparently, Edward and Daryl had to work something out. No, I called him. It's okay. We'll talk about this. We digress. Saying, I'm gonna be quiet like, on that one. I'm not a texter that. with my friends or in my relationship because sometimes text can get so deep that okay, we I can't explain what I need to say, so I need to have a conversation with you over the phone. And I think if you're really trying to go in the direction of trying to have a relationship, you we need to move away from this texting um, concept because. I don't know if y'all agree or disagree. You just cannot get to... I, now, granted, if it's basic, hey, how you doing? You going back and forth, where you are, where you at? I'm about to go into a, 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 go into, um, a, meeting, a or meeting or something. I get that. And granted, I understand that y'all probably get that difference. But a lot of people don't. And they really do lose... Cannot, cannot hold a conversation with people. We're moving to a generation that are really having a problem being able to hold a conversation with another human being because they rely so much on technology to try to communicate their right. point. Like it's view. awkward. Yeah. Like for, yeah. for yeah. some, this is this is what I hear. This is what yeah. I hear from ladies. Is sometimes it's awkward for them to be on the phone. Like I am more comfortable texting you, asking you about your whole day, and that's going to take thirty minutes mm-hmm. versus picking up the phone to hear your voice. And why would you want to hear the other person's voice? Isn't there some kind of connection you get from that? I mean, I guess I'm the I'm like that kind of person. I like to text. So through my whole thing is like I'll text, I'll have a full conversation through, through through text, and if I get on the phone, I'm like, I just dis- I'm getting distracted easily, because I don't even want. I'm usually watching that's, sports. That's true. No, that's true. I'm usually Very watching easily. sports or yeah. something else. So like, I get on the phone, I'm watching TV, I get into the show, but you're still talking, and I and then I kind of don't want to care about what you're talking about anymore. Because I'm watching something. But if you don't want to care, that means you're not trying to get to know. No, but that's oh. not that's not true. That's not true. So, that, that's well, not. Hold on. True. I think he, the way he's talking about it is kind of like him now, but probably she's probably talking more of like first getting to yeah. know a person. Even even when I first got to know my fiance, we did a lot of texting. But personally, I like to do a lot of stuff in person anyway. So like, if we want to have a good conversation, it's usually going to come from us sitting across from each other or doing some kind of activity and talking and conversing. Mm-hmm. Other than just sitting on the phone and talking, I like to see how you are outside of just yeah. holding a conversation, just like right. your mannerisms and all that stuff. So I can gauge how I'm going to speak to you, even through text, because sometimes things can get lost in translation through text. Mm-hmm. But if I can talk to you in person, I can gauge how you react to certain things that I would say. But also, I would add that that if somebody just wants to text you, mm-hmm. um, you might want to look at that person because that person might not be that 
in- interested into you, especially at the beginning. Because even with when with my wife, when we were first dating, I would call her. She would text all the time, but I would call her because she has a this like she has a she's from Baltimore. She has a mm-hmm. Baltimore accent. Mm-hmm. Like you just want to hear the the certain cues of the words or whatever in our conversation. Now that we're married, she calls me more, mm-hmm. and I'm like. Cause she one time she was leaving for work. She was like, "I'm gonna call you on my way to work," and I'm like, "Fuck!" <laughs> like, <laughs> like I wanted to play video games, and I can't concentrate on my video game because of that. But um, I agree with Raw saying, but I also, I guess, I kind of disagree too. It just it depends on the person. But yeah. I would also think that in the beginning, because I think I don't want to get us confused with us now, and right. that's at the very beginning. And, right, right. Is that. That person might not be that interested in you if they just want to text message and not have a full conversation. Um, what a, is FaceTime an option though for people who have yeah, iPhones? So yeah, so like making yeah. So what what do how do people feel or how do your group of friends feel about like FaceTime, instead of texting maybe a FaceTime? I mean instead of like a phone conversation, I mean a text conversation um, or a phone conversation FaceTiming because I think that for um, for men in general, like they they need more stimulation, like visual stimulation to stay engaged in the conversation. Um, and it's easy to kind of like just text because mm-hmm. you don't have to like engage that way. Um, but what if the, I mean, but is it the, I mean, but I find that interesting. You know what I mean? That that is how things have evolved. You know, mm-hmm. and of course, from our parents' days, our grandparents' days, even our it, days. It, yeah, yeah, even our days. It's like because how do you build a connection? I can chat with you, you know, all day via text, but how do you build a connection via text? See, that's one of the things saying now is like so. Even when we talk about back in our grand, our parents' days, our grandparents, and even our days, we didn't grow up with the technology that we have now. So that so we could be all become a, a microwave society where we want in, everything instantly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was so right. a text message is so much easier and so much more instant than a phone call because you never know what that person is actually doing at the time you have a call or you have the time to sit down and talk to you and all that stuff. But a text message it takes like what ten seconds, mm-hmm. and you can have a whole conversation in thirty minutes that you probably would have had in an hour on the phone. So it, it's somewhat society's fault we want to have everything quick on our fingertips mm-hmm. and right at the moment so that's why I, like texting is so much easier than having a phone conversation i mean do i always agree with it no but dead at arrow's point to really understand somebody you have to converse with them to, mm-hmm. so you can get those innuendos and all that stuff so that's why i said like me personally i'm more of an in-person kind of person and my question to you though when they have these text message conversations, is this strictly how's your day doing, or are they having like the conversations that, conversation. that you post to have to get to know each person right. through text as the well? The latter. The latter. Okay. Oh yeah. no! Yeah, that's that's that, no, that's, that's problem. problem number one. Yeah. Is that a, is that a flag? That, is that a, is, is, if, if, so if, flag. I will say a red a flag, flag for 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 a woman uh, communicating with a male. Yeah, that's definitely a flag. That well, should be a red flag definitely. if the only way you're able to com- converse with them is via text. Mm-hmm. And every time you call, they're unavailable or don't yeah, that's res- different. Re- re- yeah. like don't respond. That's definitely a red flag um, that you should pay attention to. But it's also something that it could possibly not be that. So you know, every person is different. But I will say, majority of the time, if a dude doesn't want is not really like concerned with you or really that into you, if you're engaging more of the conversation than they are, then most of the time that means that's mm-hmm. a red flag. And let yeah. me ask, let me say this, and I'll let you go, Shark. Males are natural hunters. So if we want something, we will hunt we'll for it. it. Yeah. So we're not making the effort to hunt for it. Like if it's different if we're doing something and we're texting, but if we're like just unavailable, we seem disinterested. That's because we're not. Mm-hmm. So it's like what women have to do is stop trying to force the guy because they will have some things on their list that they really like, right? Yeah. Like the guy might have a high paying job, and just because he has a high paying job, you let him get away with this, this, yeah. this, and this. Yeah. And exactly. the fact is, he's not into you, and you can't force. This guy to be into you, you so you have to read. I think it's a <coughs> no, black flag. I, I agree with exactly what you say, and that's what I think most women don't get. That's what most women don't get. If like when we make the decision that we want to be in a relationship and we want to be serious, we're gonna come for you. We're going to search for you. We're going to find you, and 
sometimes women don't even recognize when a man is saying, I want you, I'm looking for you. Because mm-hmm. they almost want to become the hunter or almost want to dictate how the relationship is actually going to go. Okay. So- okay. Well, hold on. I don't want you to go too far because I have a question where I want you to, you all to get more into that. So, so hold on. I, I want to wrap this up before I move into the next question. So basically, if a guy is texting more than calling, that is not a sign that he's not into you or that, like, like let's put a cap on that. If, if if a guy is texting you more than talking, that just means that it's really his preference of communicating and nothing mm-hmm. more. I think it's yeah. So, it's a it's a it's sometimes both. Both. Yeah. right. I'm gonna say yeah. that it's a, it's it's, it's got to be a healthy balance of yeah. texting and talking. If so, like if he's just texting you, texting you, and he hasn't called you at least once mm-hmm. or twice. Then that's a problem, or you haven't gone out and sat right. down in front of yeah, that face person to face. And, and have a mm-hmm. full conversation. That's a problem. Yeah, it's all about yeah. time. And if he makes time, whether it's his the, the time that he has available, if he's making that time to try to get to know you, mm-hmm. whether it's through text or conversation, that's a good measure of whether or not of, to say how important he is about trying to get to know you. And if and also as a woman. If your preference, you should make your preference known as well. Mm-hmm. So if there's a situation mm-hmm. where you feel that he's on, he's texting more and that doesn't work in terms of how you want to communicate, mm-hmm. instead of you just wondering well, why he's texting, just be mature enough to say, well, I would prefer that we have, in terms of this part of us getting to know each other, I would prefer that we actually have more conversations on the phone. And if a guy is that serious and trying to get to know you, then he would comply with whatever you need to try to get the relationship moving forward. I was literally going to say that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I was literally, because I was waiting for you to talk, and that was literally our point, because mm-hmm. I would ask, are the women allowing the guy to do that? Like, are mm-hmm. they expressing themselves that, hey, I would prefer that we speak more than, than text messages? Because if you're talking about having a serious relationship, you got to have these conversations. Mm-hmm. Right, and mm-hmm. also leads to compromising. Mm-hmm. So, like, if you, if you, like, if I'm a texter, Danny's also obviously a talker Mm -hmm. so it had to be some kind of compromise where you can balance the texting and the talking Mm -hmm. so that's the conversation you have to have with that person like hey i know you like the text i like to talk let's meet in the middle Mm -hmm. and that's for every any relationship right compromise and balance yeah i think that's a good thing to especially for women in, in general when you're looking for a relationship i think a lot of times um what you get is the the uh correct me if I'm wrong, is that the the female will like do all this work, like will be pushing, pushing, hey, text me more or hey, call me more. Like, but the dude's like, yo, I'm giving you what I, I'm giving you. So like, it definitely needs to be a balance between, you know, your needs, their needs, and then an evaluation mm-hmm. of, you know, does that fit your needs, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and if that's where they are and that's not going to fit your needs, then you need to move on. Mm-hmm. Oh. Exactly. The whole, you, you and I, it, yeah. Let me say, every girl I've ever dated that that was the more of aggressor, she was more aggressive because I was never into her like that. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now that's 